All right, hello people. Today we are going to build a push to top button. So this is why I will just put my face at the top because we are going to build a button like that, a clickable button, and it will push us to the top. Okay, so let's imagine we are in a blog or something like that. And when the user is reading an article, you do want to add that feature so it can uh, go to the top really uh, easily. All right, let's code it. Okay, so here we are in VS Code. I will put the source code in description if you want to follow along with me. So we are going to begin with uh, some text and no button at all. And we are just going to create everything together, the button, all right? So you can grab the source code in description if you want and let's go. So right there, I just want to create a button in my HTML. So a button element with a go to top or a go top btn for example class and inside it i will just write an image with the arrow up png okay and right there in the alternative text i will just write arrow up arrow up okay so it's just a reference to my png right there Great, so now we can just create the CSS for that button. Though there are not much CSS, just uh, just some CSS for the text. And right there, we are going to take care of that button. So go top btn, go top btn. So this is how I called it, yes, yes. So right there, I just want to put a position fixed to fix it at the screen, okay, when I will scroll. Okay, and then I want to position it at bottom 35 write 35 and I will just put a border radius of 50% to uh, make it make a circle and then I will just put a cursor pointer height 100 pixel width 100 pixel great a background white FFF a border of 3 pixel solid 333 okay and then I want to center the image inside of my button. So I will just put a justify content center, align item center. So be careful with VS Code and Emmet. Sometimes it will just write align content and not align items like that. Okay, great. It's great, but my image is still too big for the container. So I will just write go to btn image and put a width of 50 and a height of 50. All right. And I do have my button. Great, it's working. So now I need to make it clickable and then uh, that will push us to the top. And I also want to show it only when we do have scrolled a bit, okay? So I will just go to my script right there. And at first we are just going to take it. So go top btn equal document dot query selector and go top btn, all right. Then when I scroll, so when I scroll on my window, window dot add event listener, which one the scroll, it will trigger the check height function, check height function. Now it's time to create that function, function check height. And that will check for the height. So if window dot scroll y, this is the amount of uh, pixel that we have scrolled down is greater than 20 pixel, for example, but you can put more, for example, 200. Then go to btn.style.display equal flex. Else, go to btn.style.display equal none. Okay, so it will just show it or hide it. And then we can go right there and just hide it first. So display none. Okay, and now we can just, okay, just refresh it. And you see that uh, there is no button at all. And if we scroll down, it will show it. So mm, looks like there is a little bug. Okay, so right there, don't forget to put the greater sign indeed <laughs> and not the uh, inferior sign. So in the, the, the less sign. So right now you can just test it if you refresh and you will scroll and there is no button no button right there. And if you scroll more than 200 pixel, it will just appear right there. All right, so it's working, it's working great. Okay, now we want to click on that button. So go top btn dot add event listener, which one the click. And when we click on it, we want to trigger that small anonymous function. And we are going to use the scroll to really handy method from the window object. So window dot scroll to. And inside it, you can put an object parameter and you will say top zero, for example, and it will scroll to top zero. 
all right? So if I scroll down and then I click on it and it will push me to the top, okay? I can put the value I want right there, for example, five, 500 and it will push me to 500, okay? So that's great, that's great. Let's, pu let's push, push, let put uh, zero again right there, but it's not very smooth. It's not very smooth. The behavior, it's not very smooth. So it's great because we do have one other property right there, behavior, smooth. And now it will have a little easing, you know? So if I click, you see that it's way more smooth. Okay, it's way, it's way more great. So you can put that behavior property right there if you want to make it smooth. All right, so that's it, that's it. I will put the source code in the description if you want to use it. And yeah, that's how you create a push to top button. All right, see you next time, bye.